Good morning from Phnom Penh International Airport, Cambodia. Today I'm going to be flying on Singapore Airlines to Kuala Lumpur via Singapore Changi Airport. There weren't too many people at the check-in counter, so either I was too early or the flight wasn't too full. The aircraft on our flight today would be a 737 MAX 8. It was my first time flying on this type, so I was excited as well as nervous. Singapore Airlines 737 MAX feature 30-inch legroom in economy class, which is just about okay for short regional flights. 
Let's take a look at the in-flight entertainment system on this aircraft. Singapore Airlines 737 MAX has the Panasonic Avionics ARC system for flight information and maps. The system is intuitive and easy to use and provides a host of useful information about your flight. Since the system is touchscreen based, you can use gesture controls to pan, zoom and tilt within the maps. Singapore Airlines provides these cheap disposable earbuds in economy class. The quality is not at all great but it gets the job done. I had started watching Top Gun Maverick on my inbound flight to Phnom Penh but wasn't able to finish it. So I'm going to continue watching this movie on my flight today. The meal on today's flight is pasta with chicken bolognese along with some banana chocolate chip cake for dessert. As is the norm these days, the meal was served in disposable cardboard boxes. So we have roughly an hour to go before our arrival into Singapore and the crew has just finished the meal service. I'm of course enjoying Top Gun Maverick with my very own Singapore sling. Cheers. The load on today's flight is pretty good with barely any empty seats visible.
So I have landed at Singapore Changi International Airport Terminal 1. My flight to Kuala Lumpur leaves from Terminal 3, so I'll have to take my way to the transfer counter and then on to Terminal 3. Hopefully it should not be much of a walk as all the terminals in Singapore are connected to each other. Well, I just found out that my flight to Kuala Lumpur departs from gate F54, which is located in Changi's Terminal 2. To reach my gate, I have to take two separate sky trains with a 7 to 8 minute walk in between. After a brisk walk, I have reached the station for my next SkyTrain that will take me to Terminal 2, where my gate is located. I am now inside Terminal 2, where the F gates are located. This is a relatively deserted part of the terminal with no shops, restaurants or cafes whatsoever. This is one of Singapore Airlines long haul A350s in a three class seating configuration. This flight does not appear to be packed at all with a lot of empty seats visible throughout the cabin. Ladies and gentlemen, in the interest of your safety, please kindly give your attention to the safety video which will now be shown. Welcome aboard Singapore Airlines. As the safety equipment on this aircraft may differ from that on other aircraft, please give us your attention as we bring you through this important safety briefing.
As is the case with all of Singapore Airlines' long-haul Airbus A350s, this aircraft also features the Panasonic Voyager 3D system for flight information and maps. As I had an opportunity to compare different systems on my recent flights on Singapore Airlines, I noticed that the Panasonic Voyager 3D system feels a bit dated as compared to the Thales 3D maps or the Panasonic Arc system. Let's take a look at the restroom on this aircraft. I found it to be clean and had all the basic amenities one would need on a long haul flight. So we have taken off from Singapore around 10 minutes ago and are on our way to Kuala Lumpur. This is a brand new A350-900 in the Singapore Airlines fleet, Sierra, Juliet, Delta and has been delivered in July 2022. So it's, it's roughly about a month old. It still smells like new aircraft. This is the rear galley on the long haul A350. Looks quite modern and spacious, doesn't it? As this is only a 40 odd minute flight, only hot or cold beverages are served. No meals or snacks are served in economy class. It feels amazing to fly on an Airbus A350 on this short hop to Kuala Lumpur. Singapore Airlines will deploy this aircraft later in the evening on long haul flights to Europe or North America. Hey, I almost forgot the seat tour. The seat pitch on this aircraft is 32 inches which is decent for economy class. The armrest between two seats is really slim and has a seat recline button built in. There is a universal power adapter available for charging your electronic devices. The seat comes with standard storage pockets and this useful little area to store your glasses or cell phones. The seat pack also has an additional USB charging port, headphone jacks and buttons for calling the crew and reading light. It also has this nifty cup holder to place your coffee or drink cups and free up space on the tray table.
seated with your seat belt fastened until the seat belt sign is off. Please take care when opening the overhead compartments and remember to take all your belongings with you. It's been our pleasure serving you on this flight. Thank you for flying Singapore Airlines, a member of Star Alliance. Here we are at Kuala Lumpur International Airport. I enjoyed both my flights today on Singapore Airlines. Hope you enjoyed watching this video as well. See you again next time.